weather week still underway, rolling on, and today we examine one of the most destructive forces of nature, tornadoes. Meteorologist Adam Salarzik and Joe Struess have more. Severe thunderstorms include many threats, perhaps the most dangerous being tornadoes. But what goes into creating these beautiful but destructive forces of nature? First, we have to have a thunderstorm. There are four ingredients required for the formation of severe thunderstorms that could spawn tornadoes. In meteorology, we look for SLIM, or SLIM, which stands for Shear Lift Instability and Moisture. Moisture, lift, and instability are needed for the development of thunderstorms, but the shear is what can make an ordinary thunderstorm into a severe storm capable of producing a tornado. This is what we're going to dig into. Shear can come in two different forms. The first we will look at is speed shear. This is where winds in a storm are slower in one area and faster in another. In this case, the wind near the surface is going slower than those that are in the upper levels. The second type of shear is directional. Here it is illustrated by the upper level and near surface winds going in two different directions. Both of these could lead to an area of rotating air parallel to the ground. It is at this point that the updraft or lift part of the thunderstorm comes into play, taking this column of air and tilting it up into the cloud, first creating a funnel and then a tornado once it makes contact with the ground. This is our current understanding on how tornadoes develop. Now, Adam, recent research suggests that tornadoes may form differently than the traditional understanding. Dr. Jana Hauser from Ohio University, along with her colleagues, have conducted studies that show that tornadoes actually form from the ground up. I looked in depth at one particular case and found that for that case, um, there really was no evidence for this top-down process occurring. Dr. Hauser used data from a radar that was placed on the back of a truck to complete this study. This allowed for low-level scans of the winds in a thunderstorm. From her data, Dr. Hauser concluded that a tornado-like vortex can be detected close to the ground, sometimes as much as a few minutes before rotation is detected in the storm by standard Doppler radar towers. She observed similar results in multiple case studies supporting the hypothesis that tornadoes form from the ground up. The challenge going forward is that current radar cannot scan low to the ground, which means the future of tornado warnings is unclear. Oftentimes your eyes will deceive you when it comes to tornadoes and the formation of tornadoes. We see visually a funnel cloud descending from the cloud to the ground. Reality is that we're not, our eyes are not equipped usually to see what's actually happening on the ground. While this study introduces a different way of understanding tornado formation, there is still some work to do. It remains best to seek shelter immediately if a tornado warning is issued, as a tornado could already be on the ground by the time radar detects rotation and a warning is issued.